Welcome back, Troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglies Guitar Show. Normally, when you think a double-necked guitar, what comes to your head? If you're anything like me, it's probably the EDS-1275, you know, that SG-looking like body shape with the big long head stock up here and the small one there. But do you ever think about the brand Fender when it comes to a double-necked guitar? I certainly don't, but I've been seeing a lot of these things show up on Reverb lately, and most of them are for sale by the Music Zoo. So let's take a look at this one, a Fender Custom Shop Double Neck Telecaster 6 and 12 string, okay. So at least it's a fairly traditional double neck, because double necks, they can be basses mixed with guitars, they can be baritone guitars with a standard guitar, they can be a mandolin with a bass, mandolin with the guitar. There's a lot of things you can do when specking out a double necked instrument. But let's take a look at this thing. Okay, so they've gone double telecaster here. Cause you know, you look right here, it looks about right until you start to get to this area where they continue a swoop down here. Then the rest of it's, you know, just kind of regular Telecaster. So it's not just as easy as blending two Telecasters together. They had to take a little bit of a creative liberty down here. But hey, I really like the butterscotch blonde finish. They even went as far as aging this one a little bit. The only thing that looks really out of place here is this guy. Now I'm betting. I don't know for sure because I've never had one of these things and I probably never will. This probably selects which neck you want to be. So right now it would probably just be the six string and if you flipped it up, it'd be the 12. Now I guess it could also be this one, but you know, having a three way toggle switch on a Telecaster is kind of funny in its own right. But as far as our bridges go, so three brass saddles, you know, very traditional down here, but then they go a little bit crazy for the 12 string. I'll be honest, I don't know much about 12 string fenders if this was ever used before this point, but it looks like they got the individual steel saddles. It's either that or they're just not exposed brass. But being the 12 string, you get the octaves going on and the doubled strings. But what's kind of interesting about this whole bridge setup is you get these three screws, they're securing the pickup, right? Those secure that to the body, but then they have like an extra large one right there because they can't fit one right there. They're just hoping that it all stays in place. So master volume, master tone, it, it's pretty basic. They just put two Telecasters together and had to do some artistic liberties not to just make it look like a hump down here and make this look okay. As far as playability goes, it looks all right. You can definitely get to the upper frets and the pickups are just regular stuff. And you can see our output jack is located on the side as it normally is. And I'm not gonna say this is a, a particularly attractive guitar to me, but you know, it looks as good as I think two Telecasters mashed up together would be. But it's interesting to note that the lacquer is a little bit darker on the six string neck than it is on the 12 string. I don't know if that was intentional by design or if it just happened to be, that just looks weird at that angle, like, Oh, okay. Okay, then that's all I've got to say. But moving on from our necks, we get to the headstocks. So typical Fender Telecaster on the bottom, and you get the regular 12 string style Fender headstock over here. They call that like the hockey stick. You'd find it on the electric 12s. So it's not necessarily out of place, but a little bit strange on a Telecaster. Ooh, and it looks like they're going for the truss rod adjustment at the base of the neck. I would hate to be the guy that has to set this thing up. Not only, oh man, <laughs> you'd have to take all the 12 strings off just to adjust the neck. Maybe not. You might be able to get away with just taking the pick card off and sliding it off over top of it. Provided that there is enough room to get it over the pickup. And then you're just hoping that it has some sort of a cutaway to get to it. And then as far as the back, it looks like they also aged this a little bit. They're both string through in design, both bolt on necks. I think it would have been cool if they would have did one of them like a set neck, you know, just for fun. I just realized something, you know, the Gibson versions, you know, if you were to break a neck, you'd have to repair it. But say in a weird circumstance, you inherit this guitar and you don't own any other musical instruments and you don't want the 12 string portion. You could just take the neck off and just play it as a six string and it'd just be one strange looking guitar. <laughs> 
I like that idea. I like it so much. It would probably be a little bit uncomfortable to play, so maybe just take the six string off and then really confuse people. You, you'd have the 12 string with the air guitar. <laughs> I like that option. But how much is this thing? 13,799 bucks. Now, I'll let you guys know, I've been watching this thing a while. I think it probably took, what was it, three months or so to finally sell? I'm surprised somebody would pay that much, but I guess it's kind of the novelty factor of it. When you've got one of everything, this is something you probably don't have. Or if you just need an attention-getting piece to play on stage. So, this is the Telecaster double neck. Let's check this guy out. This goes a little bit further. It's not the usual 6 and 12 string. So, what do we got going on here? Well, I guess you could be like, is that a Jaguar? And a jazz master? Well, not not exactly. What we can tell you is we get the jazz master shape here. But this is a Fender Bass 6. A little bit more on that in a second. The offset body shape actually works incredibly well when it's doubled. Because this looks normal. Even this part kind of looks normal. They blend together so well. I think you could actually take two offset guitars, chop off a third of their body, and blend them together like this. That's just how well this body design works with the offset shape. Oh, but our controls on this one. Looks like master volume, master tone, output jack on the front to control both of these. But is it individual on and off controls for each pickup on each setting? And yet they still have this whole jazz master circuit here if you want to use it. That's kind of interesting. We get the tortoise shell pick guard with the sunburst type finish. Regular style pickups that you're used to seeing on these style of instruments. Yeah, even the side profile view, it does not look as crazy as that Telecaster. But check that out. So I told you we'd get back to the whole base 6 thing, right? Normally, when you do a doubled instrument like this, the bass will go on top. This one is peculiar in the fact that the electric guitar goes on top. So you'll have to be in like a, a Robert Trujillo stance to really get down there to the bass strings. I think this is the first time I've seen the longer neck of a double necked instrument be on the bottom. And it's not even like a bass bass, it's a, a bass six. That's kind of interesting. Like if I, if I was gonna buy a double necked Fender, it would probably be something quirky like this. Jazz Masters, they're cool, and a base six, I would assume they're pretty cool as well. Moving on to the back, it's just you know pretty basic stuff here a single comfort car right there, and again, it's a bolt on neck. So if you don't want one of the necks, you can just leave it off. I would have personally preferred the headstocks to have been aged, but nah, that's just how I am. But they went as far as putting the Jazz Master logo here, Fender Base Six. Nothing, you know, too crazy as far as the headstocks go. And once again, it looks like we get truss rod adjustment at the end of the neck. But it's just 12 strings in total, so I guess setting it up wouldn't be as bad as the 12 stringed versions. And the total cost of this one? Another sweet $13,799. But this one is not actually in stock. It's a pre-order expected mid next year. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I place a pre-order and it takes more than a year to get it, I'm just upset about it. But to wait like a year and a half, I don't know if I'd be willing to uh, pre-order a $14,000 guitar and give them payment in advance. That might just be one of those things where we can get this if you want it. One of ours is already sold, so if you, yeah, you can pre-order it and then we'll order it from Fender. I don't know if that's an existing order or what, but it's got 148 watchers. Oh man, and I didn't even realize till I looked at this. They both got tremolo bridges. So that's something else that makes this one even more unique over the Telecaster one if you like having those types of systems. As far as our specs, it looks like an ash body. Okay, that's nice. The base 6 is a 30 inch scale length versus the 25 and a half on the other side. 14 pounds, 11 ounces. That's not too bad. Like a really extraordinarily heavy Norlin era Les Paul Custom. Sometimes you can find a 13, 14 pound beast. Most of them are in that 10 to 11 pound range. You know, putting that into perspective, only a couple more and you're technically having two instruments on you? Okay, that, that's not so bad. 
So my final question for you guys today, would you rock a double necked Fender guitar or not? Does it look good to you? Is it something you're even interested, like even if they did like a made in Mexico version that made these things considerably cheaper, we're talking like 15 to $2,000. For me, it would have to be a really interesting pairing like these guys. The Telecaster one didn't necessarily speak to me. I mean, if I want a 12 and a six string, I'm probably gonna go the Gibson route, but maybe they could go crazy and just like mix a Jazz Master with the Telecaster or Stratocaster with the Telecaster. I think this is just something new within the Fender Custom Shop that they're like, let's really push what we can do. So Troglodytes, thank you for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.